Hi everyone, in this video I cover getter and setter methods. You should already be familiar with the basics of a class and the accessibility levels. Now here I have a class named dog. This has a state and the state I define as a name and a dog has a breed and I create a third variable called age. So there are three variables that define the state uh, of each object of the class. Now, these are my member variables and member variables should always be private. Now, um, I wanna expose these member variables so anybody who creates an object of the class can set them and, and get the values of them. And that's where getters and setters come into play. So getter and setter are get methods and set methods. They get and set the values. Now for a get method, and I start the get method for the main. So this is the getter and setter for name. I declare them public string. So string is the type and I simply say get and then the name of the member variable. So get name. And all I do is return name, return the value of that member variable. Now for the setter, it's different. Setter, they set a value, so they do not return anything. So the return type is void then it's called set, and then the name of the member variable. So set name, and since I wanna set a new value, I pass in the new value here in the method. I call this just value, and I call it name equals value. Now be careful if you, you name this, for example, name. If you give it the same uh, name as the member variable, you will have a conflict here. This can be resolved with a the this keyword, but I have not covered it so far, so I will avoid this. So I simply call it here value. Now, this can now be used to access the member variable. So let's take a look. Let's say I create a class program. Inside the class, I have my main method. And in that main method, I create an object of the class. This was dog, new dog. And now I wanna set the name of the dog. Now I cannot access name directly because it is private, but I can use the set method, set name or get name. So with set name, I can pass something in, woofy, for example. So here I set the name, this will pass the value woofy call the function and assign it to the parameter value. And then value is assigned to name. So now name equals Woofy. Essentially, this is doing dog.name equals Woofy. It's the same thing, but we are controlling access with a setter method. Now let's do this again um, for breed. So I do public, the return type is string. I do get and the member variable or also called field is breed. And I return the value of that member variable here with return breed. Now the getter and the setter method is void. It doesn't return anything, set breed. And again, I call it value and then say breed equals value. And now with this getter method, I can use the dog and I can call set breed. So I can now set name and I can call and I can call the set breed method to set the breed. For example, golden retriever. Now, when you use an IDE, a lot of times there's support for for generating these very common methods. For example, if I go and Eclipse source and I say generate getter and setter, I can click this 
And here, the only thing I have left is age because I already created uh, the getter and setter for name and breed myself. And then I can either say I want to have both, or I could say I want to only return this. I, will, I don't want to allow anybody to set the value. In this case, let's say I use both. I click generate, and here it generated it for me. So do it at least uh, once so you kind of know how to program it yourself. But after that, you can always generate it. And if I go back to the main, now I can set all the values for all member variables. I can say set age, and I can pass in an age. Now, for some member variables, um, you could say, I only want to allow to return the value. I do not want to allow to set it. So you have more control of what can be done to the member variables. And it still supports information hiding. We still don't um, expose the internals of the class. This could be stored in, for example, the name and the breed could be stored in a string variable. There could be a whole separate class that represents that. So we do not expose the externals. We also have more controls. I mentioned the control that we can return a value or uh, set a value, so we control this, but we can also add some checks here. Maybe we say if the value is null or if the value oops, is empty, then we don't want to set it, we return. So we have some control over what the values can be. If you, we only want to uh, allow a certain range of age, for example, we could have a condition here that the age can only be between, be between 0 and 20 or something. So getter and setter help us to expose values, but they also give more control over the values that can be set. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.